first we need to get to the main screen of the mate. While holding the mate, press the bottom left two buttons at the same time. From this screen you have the options of Summary, Status, Setup, and Advanced. Select Advanced. Press any button to skip over the warning screen. Now press the Increase button to change your password to 141. Press Enter. Next, choose FX. Page 2, Page 3, Page 4, Cell. Cell RE volts is the voltage that you want your system to sell at. That is, your battery voltage must be above this setting in order for your system to sell excess power back to the grid. Press Increase or Decrease to change this, though default settings are adequate. Press Down. Grid tie window should be set to IEEE. -E -E. Press Down. Grid tie authority should be set to grid tie. Press Increase to set this if it doesn't already say grid tie. Press down. Selling setup completed. Now we can tweak your settings so you get the most amount of selling available to you. Select Advanced. Page 3. Page 2. Page 1. Charger. Press down twice so you see Absorb Time Limit. Set this to 0.1 hour. Press down twice so you see float time period. Decrease this to zero. Press down until you see charger programming completed. Select main menu. Press the AC in button. AC in input control should say use. You always want to make sure you have grid power available to your inverter. Your inverter must make a handshake with the grid in order to sell. If your AC input control says drop, you will not be able to sell. Select OK to get back to the main screen. Let's also ensure your charge controller is set up for you to sell. From the main screen of your charge controller, press just the left button. Move the arrow over to Advanced. Press Go. Press Next until you see MPPT mode. Your options will be Exit, Next, Non-GT, and Mode. Select Non-GT. Press the minus button to decrease your password to 141. Press Enter. Press Non-GT again. The screen will change to GT, thus indicating you are now in grid tie mode. Press Next, then Exit to save. 